everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2019 Lamborghini Urus. In this review, we're going to cover all of the ins and outs, take it on a thorough drive, get plenty of sound clips, and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. Also, a huge thanks to Lamborghini Charlotte for providing this opportunity. For more information about the dealership, including contact info and current inventory, please feel free to check out their website provided in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. There's so many things that I want to talk to you guys about in this video, but before we dive in, between the active exhaust system and the various drive modes, you can actually do a loud startup. What that means is that if you turn it off and put it back into accessory power and switch it into either Sport or Corsa, then start it, you actually get a much more aggressive sounding exhaust note. So let's go ahead and start it up in Sport mode, followed by Corsa, and you can hear the difference. Of course, I'll talk about all of this stuff more in depth a little bit later in the video, but like I said, we got a lot of stuff to cover, so let's get to it. In case you didn't know, the Urus is not the first SUV to come from Lamborghini. That honor goes to the LM002. It was produced between 1986 and 1993 in very limited numbers. Originally born as a utilitarian military vehicle, it could be ordered for civilian use with all of the luxury you could ask for in the late 80s. Its powertrain even consisted of a V12 and a 5-speed manual borrowed from the Countach. The Urus is a huge departure from that, a product of modern times, but that doesn't mean it's anything less special. With the SUV market booming, it just makes good business sense. Lamborghini describes the Urus as the world's first super SUV, one that's as luxurious as it is powerful. It offers a distinct super sports car personality, but it's met with a surprising amount of practicality and usability that no Lamborghini before it could come close to touching. The basic platform is shared with the Audi Q7, Bentley Bentayga, and the Porsche Cayenne, comprised of a blend of aluminum and steel. There's some dimensional differences here and there, but with an excellent starting point, Lamborghini went wild with instilling its own DNA into the rest of the vehicle. My favorite styling touches are the frameless aluminum doors. While I'm not typically a fan of coupe-like roof lines on SUVs, this one is actually very well done. It adds to the character of the silhouette as a whole. Plus, there's so many cool details throughout, such as the geometric wheel arches. Up front, gaping intakes feed a new twin turbocharged V8, while the underbelly directs air where needed to improve aerodynamics and cooling for the powertrain and brakes. The Urus provides easy driving in the city, excellent comfort during long journeys, and a lot of fun for what it is. It even has the necessary equipment to make it versatile for off-roading in a range of different environments. In short, the Urus is multi-dimensional. It can be specified to be as sporty or as elegant as the owner wishes. So how much does all this cost? Base pricing for the 2019 Urus comes in at $200,000. That's before a destination fee of $3,995. The sky is practically the limit when it comes to optional extras and personalization options. This example features nearly $58,000 worth of optional extras. I'll highlight the main ones as we go through the video. 
total MSRP for what you see here comes out to $261,839. Lamborghini offers four different wheel styles to choose from with sizes ranging between 21 and 23 inches in diameter, all of which are forged aluminum. Each is available with different finishes to suit your individual taste. The 23 inch diamond cut wheels shown here are a $5,682 option. Each Urus is fitted with staggered wheels, meaning the rear wheels are wider than the front. In this case, the wheels are wrapped in 285-35 tires in front and 325-30 tires in the rear. You have a choice between summer, winter, all-season, all-terrain, and sport tires. They're all specially developed by Pirelli, giving you the ultimate flexibility of use, whether it be light off-roading, a day at the track, or simply daily driving through various climates. The Urus handles amazing. The ride quality is also surprisingly good. It's not nearly as stiff as I was expecting, but it's firm enough that you won't notice a whole lot of body roll, even when cooking through a tight S-curve. Regardless of its platform origins, Lamborghini has managed to instill an undeniable supercar quality in this SUV. The Urus uses the largest front brakes ever fitted to a production vehicle. The rear brakes are quite big too. Of course, being a Lamborghini, carbon ceramics come standard. The rotor spans 17.3 by 1.6 inches in front and 14.8 by 1.2 inches in the rear. They're clamped down by 10 piston and 6 piston calipers respectively. Yes, you heard right, the front brakes use 10 piston calipers. One of the more interesting features though is the rear wheel steering system. Based on vehicle speed and driving mode, the wheels are able to steer up to 3 degrees in either direction. At low speeds, the wheels steer opposite to the front. This virtually shortens the wheelbase by 23.6 inches to reduce the turning circle and improve maneuverability. At higher speeds, the wheels steer in the same direction as the front to virtually extend the wheelbase by, again, 23.6 inches. This increases stability, ride comfort, and optimizes driving dynamics. The steering itself is an electrically assisted rack and pinion setup with a ratio of 13.2 to 1. It takes about 2.3 turns to lock. The overall feel and characteristic of the steering can be varied through the drive modes. An adaptive air suspension is fitted as standard equipment, along with multi-link suspension geometry, electromechanical active roll stabilization, and adaptive dampers. The air springs allow the vehicle to be raised or lowered according to the road and driving conditions. Ride height can also be further customized by the driver by a small controller in the center console adjacent to the drive mode selector. Up until this point, every Lamborghini has been powered by a naturally aspirated engine. The Urus shakes things up with a front-mounted twin-turbocharged 4-liter V8. It develops an incredible 650 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 627 pound-feet of torque between 2,250 and 4,500 RPM. This thing is ridiculously quick. I only wish I had a track to be able to truly explore its full potential. That being said, the Urus is able to hit 62 miles an hour in just 3.6 seconds and reach a top speed of 190 miles per hour. Not too shabby for something that weighs just north of 4,800 pounds. The transmission is an electronically controlled ZF 8-speed automatic with steering wheel paddles. It's almost become a ubiquitous gearbox nowadays, but that's for a really good reason, as it's one of the best on the market. Here, it operates a little different from what you might be used to in conventional applications. To be honest, it's sort of like the Oricon as you don't have a console shifter. To engage first gear, you pull the right paddle. Pulling both paddles towards you simultaneously puts the transmission into neutral. Pulling the lever in the center console engages reverse. You can switch between full auto or manual shifting using the button labeled M in the center console, while part can be found on the opposite side of the starter button. The transmission is smooth and quick shifting. A permanent four-wheel drive system ensures power gets to the ground in the most efficient way possible. It includes a self-locking torsion differential that yields a default torque split of 40-60 between the front and rear respectively. 
It can also shuffle a maximum of 70% to the front or 87% to the rear depending on the situation. In addition to the aforementioned rear wheel steering system, the rear axle even has active torque vectoring. This allows torque to be instantly distributed to each individual wheel for enhanced traction. The amount of torque distributed depends on the driving mode, your driving style, and how much grip the tires have. Speaking of drive modes, there's four standard modes, including Strata, Sport, Corsa, and Neve. The latter is a snow mode. They alter everything from ride height, damper firmness, throttle response, shift behavior, steering response, and more. By opting for the off-road package, you also get Terra and Sabia driving modes, which are off-road and sand modes respectively. The package also includes specific metal reinforced bumpers and additional underfloor protection for off-roading. The drive modes are routed through the Tamburo, a fancy name for the selector in the center console. The preset parameters are to the left, while your personalized settings are controlled by the Ego system to the right. The engine offers a very distinct soundtrack from Lamborghini's V10s and V12s. There's active sound enhancement within the interior, as well as an active exhaust system that opens and closes based on the drive mode and your driving style. It's somewhat tame in Strata, but downright visceral in Sport and Corsa, with plenty of crackles and pops on overrun. As far as fuel economy, the Urus comes with a 19.8 gallon fuel tank. Premium fuel is required. With mileage estimates ranging between 12 miles per gallon in the city and 17 miles per gallon on the highway. Expected average is 14 miles per gallon. The Urus just might be the nicest vehicle Lamborghini has ever developed. It's a stark contrast from everything else they've had in the past. Sure, there's an inherent sportiness, but the priority here is comfort. Good build quality doesn't even begin to describe just how nice of an interior this is. Throughout, you'll find the best of the best with regards to materials, fitment, and creativity. The first time you sit in it, you won't feel like you're in a Lamborghini. It's quiet, ergonomically friendly, and laden with all the latest technology. Hone in on the fine details and that unmistakable Lamborghini character begins to show its face in a major way, especially with the brand's signature hexagonal theme. This is one of the most driver-centric SUVs I've ever been in. Inspired by the brand's current sports cars, the climbing center console puts the HVAC system and auxiliary controls within easy reach in a trick touchscreen display. While multifunction switches on the steering wheel enable you to control the infotainment system, car setup, media, telephone, and navigation. The instrument cluster is a digital TFT display that packs all of the essential driver's information systems, plus additional performance readouts and an optional night vision camera. The layout is fully customizable. The Urus is offered with two seating options. The standard set features 12-way power adjustments in addition to being heated. The optional set shown here features 18-way power adjustments in both ventilation and massage. The design of the seats is of course unlike any other Lamborghini. Sure, they provide great support, but they're exceptionally comfortable too. With four-way lumbar, adjustable upper and lower lateral bolsters, a thigh extender, and the massage, these seats are well-rounded to say the least. When you're purchasing something like this, you also expect to have a high degree of personalization options. Lamborghini certainly doesn't disappoint in this department. The interior of the Urus is available in several themes, including combinations of leather and Alcantara. There's a lot of different colors to choose from, not to mention colored stitching and floor mat piping and a variety of finishers, including wood and carbon fiber. This example also has the Q-Citra option, which adds distinctive diamond patterns on the inner part of the seats. The Urus is packed with safety features. There's eight airbags located throughout the interior, as well as a whole suite of driver assistance technologies. Some of the standard features include high beam assist, front and rear parking sensors, and a precognition system that helps prevent and mitigate collisions. Some of the optional features include a heads-up display, traffic management systems, a top view 360 degree camera system, and a trailer coupling mode. You can individually select which systems are active by hitting a button in the center console and following the prompts on the center display. The infotainment system is comprised of two high-res displays. It's one of the coolest setups I've used in quite some time. 
I'm sure a lot of you have heard of haptic displays, the ones that emit a little vibration when you touch them. This is similar but also quite different. The whole screen moves, so instead of simply tapping, you tap and press. It's almost like clicking a computer mouse. It's extremely responsive and offers a very welcomed tactile feel. You gotta experience it in person to get the whole effect, but it's really quite neat. The Urus is offered with two audio systems. An 8 speaker setup comes standard, but this one has the optional Bang & Olufsen surround sound system with 1700 watts of output and 21 fully active speakers. The sound quality is incredible. While the upper screen is the key interface for entertainment, as well as managing functions like media, navigation, telephone, smartphone integration technologies, and car status information, the lower screen primarily controls the climate control, seat heating, and more. It also doubles as a keyboard, as well as a handwriting capable screen. One of the more surprising things about the Urus is just how functional of a backseat it has. Despite the sharp rake of the roofline, there's quite a lot of space back there. There's excellent build quality just like the front, and if you didn't notice already, all four doors are frameless and feature laminated glass for acoustic insulation. Like I said, there's a ton of space back there. I'm 5'10 and didn't have any trouble climbing in at all. As you can see, there's a lot of leg space left over. You have a quad zone climate control system so everybody can stay comfortable. Plus, depending on how many people you plan on hauling, you can get the standard five seat configuration like you see here, or an optional four seat configuration that has a little center console. If you get the five seat configuration, you have a fold down armrest with two cup holders, as well as three adjustable headrests. People over six feet will not have a hard time sitting in this thing. Heated rear seats are optional and there's two 12 volt power outlets in the bottom of the console. Shown here is the optional rear seat entertainment system. It's super easy to use, the screens have good graphics, it's basically like having a giant iPad strapped to the back of the seat. Along with being able to access some of the features from up front, you have additional features as well such as internet access, YouTube, Google Maps, and more. Naturally, the Urus comes standard with a fully powered liftgate, but Lamborghini also offers a hands-free feature. So if you walk up to the back with your arms full, as long as you have the key fob in your pocket, there's sensors that'll detect that, you just kick your foot underneath the rear fascia, and the liftgate will open automatically. Inside, you have 21.8 cubic feet worth of cargo space behind the rear seat, but if you fold the seat down, which can be done either 40-20-40 or 40-60 split, you have 56.4 cubic feet. Another pretty cool thing is that with the air suspension, you can raise and lower the back end of the vehicle by just the touch of a button. This will help a lot when it comes to loading and unloading cargo. Speaking of cargo, there's tracks on either side with this organizer system so you can move it around to adjust for different size cargo and keep everything nice and secure. Underneath the trunk floor you have a temporary spare tire. Now let's go ahead and see if she sounds. For these clips I'm leaving it in sport mode.
Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Lamborghini Urus. Be sure to stay tuned next time. Leave a like and subscribe today if you haven't already. There's always a lot more where that came from. Take care, everyone.